The U.S. dollar continues to trade higher after the latest U.S. economic data releases. Retail sales in the U.S. rose 0.4% in January, while sales excluding autos were up 0.8%. Meanwhile, consumer prices soared 0.6% in the latest month, while the core figure came in at 0.3%. And the New York Empire Manufacturing Index has spiked to 18.7 in February, its best level in over two years. Of course, it's all about inflation and the timing of the next Fed rate uh, rise. Now, today, Fed Chief Janet Yellen testifies for a second day in Congress. On Tuesday, Yellen told lawmakers that the central bank would consider raising rates at one of its upcoming meetings. Now, looking at the major pairs, euro dollar is off half a percent at 1 in 0528, while pound dollar is off 0.6% at 1 in 2389. Now, the British pound against the U.S. currency is the pair in focus. It has broken below a former rising trend line, which was a hit on the 14th. Now, it has also validated a continuation triangle pattern. Therefore, trading central analysts prefer short positions below 1 in 24.75, with targets at 1 in 24 and 1 in 23.70 in extension. And looking at dollar yen, it is higher by half a percent at 114.84. Meanwhile, in precious metals, gold and silver futures have turned lower after the data releases. Gold fell below 1220. Now that precious metal did break below the 20-day and 50-day moving averages, the RSI is also capped by bearish trend line. Now, trading central analysts prefer short positions below the new resistance at 12.30 with targets at 12.2150 and 12.19 in extension. Meanwhile, silver futures are off 0.2% at $17.85. That does wrap it up for this morning. I'm Remy Blair reporting for the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Trading Central. Have a great day.